The next step in the process was attaching the guide plate to the pedestal. I was looking forward to this because it's going to look more like a table, but there were a number of things that I had to do prior to that happening. The top circle in the pedestal had to be uh, finished with a center post and three uh, bearing stands for the star lift. The lift started with a piece of uh, one and a half inch metal and we cut uh, another piece of C-frame and uh, measured it all up and got it as centered as we could and then we uh, then we took it uh, to the table and we welded it all up and it turned out fairly nicely. We then uh, measured and, and uh, punched for uh, the drilling that we had to do and the countersinking and we did that in uh, in all uh, in all three of the units, and then we uh, and then we took it over to the drill press. Once we had uh, all three pieces drilled and countersunk, it was time to do the sliding aluminum nuts that uh, attach to the plate. We started by taking uh, a bolt, cutting the head off, and ended up uh, with uh, two axles for each bolt. And then we took the uh, shaft to the lathe, a snap ring. The second marking is for the snap ring on the other side. This third marking is where we cut off for the axle. This marking was for a snap ring for a new axle. And I did a second one there that you didn't see. And uh, this is us cutting the uh, grooves for the snap ring. Uh, and this is cutting the grooves for the axle that is threaded. Uh, there were uh, nine threaded axles and 14 smooth axles. So that marking there is where I know to cut the axle off and that one's to cut the axle off and I tried this uh, cutting blade and, and man I'm telling you I was so bad at it it was horrible I didn't know what was happening uh, I, I finally gave up and just used a, a hacksaw I later found that the blade that I was using it was brand new but you had to sharpen them or something I later did it and it worked great so there were the smooth axles and the threaded axles, both with the snap rings uh, drilled out. And now it was time to do the sliding uh, aluminum nut that slides in the C-frame and is threaded to accept the uh, threaded axle that we had made previously. To do that, I ended up uh, doing a jig. Uh, when I I cut the uh, I cut the aluminum uh, to the size that needed to fit inside of the C frame on the bearing stand, I measured it, and then I had the alumin I had the uh, CNC cut uh, these uh, pockets in a piece of wood, just a hair smaller than the actual uh, aluminum piece uh, that uh, I had cut. Once I had that done, I, uh, I uh, made sure everything was clean underneath and banged all these 
dudes into place and for an added measure I screwed them in I didn't have to but I just thought I should and so once I had them screwed in we got the CNC going uh, and uh, it uh, as you can see uh, did a nice job uh, cutting uh, the grooves necessary to make this uh, all work and I had to do uh, 10 of these no I'm sorry I had to do 8 of these uh, for uh, the table so I just did 4 at a time now once I was done with this process I took the screws out of the center and then I had the uh, CNC go back and uh, do a little thickness reduction on the uh, sliding nut plate so that they, it didn't stick out too far past the C. And it, it all worked out r really quite nicely. Uh, I was a little bit worried that maybe these would pop out while I was doing it. But they were in so tight that once it was done, I had to use uh, a bolt and the socket wrench to pop them out. So it worked out great. Uh, and uh, so I was able to get those all done without really much uh, of, of an issue. And these are all the components. Uh, there's the the snap ring bearing, snap ring nut washer, and the sliding uh, nut all in place, and uh, they turn out really nice. And there you see the three of them in place, including the center post for the bearing. It was now time to put the guide plate on, which uh, was exciting. I drilled, I put the guide plate on first. We took a lot of time and made sure it was in the exact location necessary to line up with uh, all the bearings and all the other things in place. Probably took us 45 minutes to get to the right place. And once we were in the right place, we drilled holes uh, just to mark where we were, took the plate back off and drilled long holes for the long screws and then came back and countersunk each one a half an inch um, so that we could put in uh, brass uh, bushings uh, to hold the screws in place. We didn't want to break uh, or split the wood uh, on the end grains, which is easy to do. So uh, we took a little extra time and, and uh, and put it in place, put these uh, brass uh, bushings uh, in place. And then we put the guide plate on for good hallelujah it looked great pretty exciting uh, these are the last three screws I had to put in we countersunk each one of them so that uh, we had a flush uh, situation all the way across on the uh, on the on the guide plate itself By gosh, pretty dang sturdy. It's heavy, but sturdy. And there's the table, at least the start thereof. Once the guide plate was secured, it was time to put in the outside bearings. These slots had all been rough cut by the CNC, so I made a template for the C channel that I had cut 
put the template on the C-panel, drew the lines, and then I took it to the vise, and uh, with the grinder, I cut, uh, I cut uh, all the angles and uh, the lengths that we needed uh, to make it work. The top was at an angle, as you see, once we get it uh, installed uh, to make it strong so it wouldn't slip. And once I had them all cut and uh, feeling like they were in good place, I took them uh, to the um, vise. Got them all squared up and uh, bent them. Uh, and so that they were all square and looked great. There were six of these that I had to do. And once they were uh, all done, I started working on each joint. I had to finesse uh, each one of the joints a little bit. This saw, I'm sorry, this sander, I don't know, I can't remember who makes it, but I'm here to tell you, it's worth every cent. That thing is, it's just money. It uh, just made my life so much easier, um, and I was able to get in. As you can see, uh, it needed just a slight bit of adjustment. Once I got it close, I realized that uh, it wasn't as square as it should have been. So I, I took it back to the vise, uh, clamped it in place, and got a, a square and put it in place. And uh, it fit very, very nicely. So I did that five more times around the table, and then I added each one of them uh, a, a bearing set, just like I did for the insides, and uh, the guide plate was done. Thanks for watching. See you next time.